Do you have $25,000 to lose? Neither do I. And if you're a seller in the Gainesville area thinking about putting your property on the market, you've got to stay tuned because I'm going to talk about one of the biggest mistakes you can avoid. I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate, and today I am diving into a video for you sellers to make sure that you don't lose big bucks. Selling in Gainesville? Wanting to make sure that you can net the most at the end of the day? Well, today I wanna to talk about something super important and a mistake that happens way more than it should. They say that honesty is the best policy and that is completely true, especially when you're selling your home. Making sure that you're providing all of the information that you know about your property is probably one of the most important things you can do when you're getting ready to put your home on the market. And that honesty kicks in when it comes to your seller's disclosure. If you've never sold a house before, a seller's disclosure is a document that you'll receive from your agent asking you to detail anything you know about your property and to disclose known defects. What counts as a defect, you may ask? Well, let me give you the definition. According to an article published in Biz Journals, a defect is a condition that would have a significant adverse effect on the value of a property that would significantly impair the health or safety of future occupants of the property, or that if not repaired, removed, or replaced, would significantly shorten or adversely affect the expected normal life of the premises. And examples of those defects would include structural or mechanical issues, or even non-physical issues that can adversely affect the value of the property, such as zoning or easements. Failing to disclose or trying to hide any of these defects can lead to a variety of problems for you as a seller. First of all, a buyer could sue you for breach of contract or intentional misrepresentation, and they can seek to either rescind or undo the sale of the house or go after you for payment on all the cost of repairs. So you may be asking yourself, how do I know what I need to disclose? Or what if I don't know that I have certain defects? And that's kind of the kicker here, is you can only disclose what you know about or what can be readily observed. And if it's something that's not readily observed, it has to be proven that you knew about it. So here's an example. In Florida, we do sometimes deal with foundation issues. We have some sinkholes, there's some clay in certain areas. So structural issues can be common in our area. So let's say you own a home, and three years ago, you saw some cracking and had some questions about what was going on with your foundation. So you called a company and had them come out and take a look. And let's say that they recommended that you needed some foundation pinning, but you thought it's not that bad. We'll just go ahead and see how it goes. Fast forward to now, three years later, you're going to sell your house. You have knowledge of a giant potential defect of your property. And if you don't disclose that, an incoming buyer may have the right to sue you. The burden of proof, so to speak, is on the buyer. Not only do they have to prove that the defect is there, but they have to prove that you knew about it. However, if a structural engineer was there just a few years ago, odds are they have record. So just make sure when you are selling your property, you're super honest and super upfront. Just because you're selling your home as is does not mean you don't need to disclose any known defects. Because let me tell you, if you don't and you get caught, it is a costly mistake. Not only can the buyer come after you for the cost for the repairs, but sometimes they may even win double or triple that amount plus attorney's fees. So don't let this happen to you. It's truly not worth it. With that said, you may be wondering, Lindsay, where did you get the $25,000 from? Well, let's head back to the foundation example. According to home.costhelper.com, a typical home with moderate foundation issues can start anywhere from $8,000 all the way up to $30,000 in repairs. So you can see easily how you could tick right up to that $25,000 mark. That's not even including the cost of attorney's fees and additional damages you may be forced to pay if you don't disclose. So save yourself $25,000 or more and just be honest. If you don't know, then you don't know and that's okay. But if you do have knowledge of an issue, put it out there because if it gets discovered and it gets discovered that you knew about it, it's gonna be very costly. So Gainesville owners, 
Make sure when you sell your property that you are super honest on your seller's disclosure because if you try to hide something, it's gonna cost you. I hope today was helpful and didn't scare you too terribly. If you found some value in today's video and you want some more information on best ways to sell your property in Gainesville, be sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell because I've got a great video coming out about how to get top dollar when you sell your home in Gainesville. I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate. See you next time.